ladies and gentlemen it's a great pride moment for me to be around in this congress of 5g just i thought i will put myself in two buckets once what is happening actually in 5g within our own bsnl and the, what the government initiatives and what we look forward in the future from this 5g that's i thought we should have in two buckets out as we all know that though 5g has been rolled out across the country it's more of the one side of the three corners of the triangle is more pronounced you know the mbb is actually the one which has been pushed the other two corners of your massive machine type communication and your url cc is still a way, long way to go which lot of applications been pushed around so the key thing for every operator today is how do we capitalize on the other two corners why we go on a 5g uh, window now uh, the government of india itself uh, the dot has taken a lot of initiatives to see how do we encourage these two corners of the triangle we went into a development of say can we have some sort of a 5g intelligent villages put around so for example be it in the governments the, the governance mechanism can we really make a sea change so we tried this also in one of the states where can i put sensors so let us choose a village put sensors across maybe in the agriculture farms maybe ct cctvs which can monitor the incoming the the tracks that is coming in the tracks that is going out maybe we can see what is the temperature what are the soil condition what is the humidity all these sensors are gathered into a common data lake and this data lake can assimilate this information probably on a real on a real time near real time analysis where a collector sitting far away from a village can could have a complete holistic view of what is happening in his district especially the villages including to the macro level of what is the gst transactions happening how much fertilizer has been used today even to the amount of uh, the amount of crop that has grown in a path i think this this goes back into some important way of what human was trying to do in the in the african countries if you know that taking the satellite maps of the morning and the night we were able to predict the amount of hours that is happening in a particular area so these type of initiatives could be made possible through this technology which we have this on this 5g this we try to push out as 5g intelligent villages we laid out the roads we pushed it in a big way some of the things we try to see that can we really do one of the one of the key things is as we talk about 5g the next important thing comes on ai and how to do the data one is you do a big data analytics which all the data comes to a central place and then you do a bit analysis another is we call it a small data analytics where can i do edge computing can i do edge ai in each of these edge nodes and then the computing happens on the fly so the information becomes fast this is the area one critical area which which india as a country can really exploit when real 5g applications start rolling out the other very important initiative with the government was done to the dot was as we all know the ir 4.0 with ir 4.0 is coming the industry automation is going to take a real complete change see change we will be able to see now how far are our industries geared up for this initiatives and this ir 4.0 will to some extent marry towards our 5g's the double corners especially the url lc and the uh, mmtc which is very very critical for the automation of this industries so the government uh, the, the dot has uh, we did a survey across 12 different sectors identified in these sectors what are the clear low hanging fruit that needs to be really captured and this is a big big what i can say a big area in the economic boom that can easily happen where the msmes could really adopt the technology of industrial automation coupled with sensors automation iot devices with a complete intelligence platform built 
which could be either centrally located or pushed to the edge is going to be a game changer. So these are some of the initiatives that the government has also taken in its try to see that how we can fasten and fast track the real applications. Though the 5G is going to put the steps of this forward, the next few years, maybe the next three, four years, is going to see a complete exponential change in each of these technologies, what we speak about. The URLCC may be extended to what we call the EDURLC, extended density URLC. And probably who knows the MMTC is going to be extended towards HCS. So how we can the human communication, how we can get the UBS. The uh, the R RCBC, the real con time controlled uh, broadband control applications. So these are the new things which is just extended. The triangle is going to just extend itself as an hexagon. Some 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 countries call this as 5.5G. So this uh, this triangle of these two, which is still being expanded to an hexagon itself, will open up an array of different applications that can really reap the benefits of what is happening in our 5G. The 5G rollout could be still substantiated with this real-time application. A few of these applications could could probably be one in the medical field, which we call again going back to the to the governance side that we call it the digital infra. If we link the key things is going to be the education, the medical, the finance, and how are we going to do our normal CCTV and other stuffs, your road, your mobility, and infrastructure. In each of these areas, how 5G can play its role in a major role. And it has all been demonstrated. Let us take, for example, the health sector. Health is going a remarkable thing. Can we see that we did an experiment in the using PHCs, the primary health centers, where from a remote end, through some sensors, where can the data be collected and then again send it to a central server on a big data analytics. So this can send a lot amount of data at one particular time through the use of this 5G. This results into what we call a completely new media, new devices, a new infrastructure. So the new infra devices could be that tomorrow, probably who knows your smartphone will be in the declining trend. Whatever we wear, your watches, your shoes, your glasses, everything itself will act as a media of communication. The calls what we make today, the 2D calls, when you make a call, we answer this, what you call the 2D calls, is going will soon, maybe in the three, four years' time, could really go into what we care, call it as 3D calls, holographic communication. Is it possible to have a real holographic communication? The reality of these 5G services is going to come. In the health sector, can we have some sort of a molecular communication coming in? How, how this nano communication with nano IoTs, which is coming in a very big market of in, in your biotech, can it have its own application? On top of all this, the critical thing when which each one of you should be should note today is the data when it is flowing, how are we going to secure this data? Security of this data is very, very critical. So this another harm of the entire chain along with when the AI running around is what we call, call it the distributed ledger technology, the blockchain. Can I bring the blockchain not only the core and the edges, or can I even make it to what I call the core and the edge networks, including your spectrum sharing. So which means your end-to-end -end will be completely protected unless you are going to have a very secure and safe system available. So that brings out what we have a new different way of securing a data because with a lot of voluminous amount of data coming in from IOTs, from all intelligence, that becomes an era dava. The next small incremental evidence in AI is, today we talk AI in our own different walks of our life. What are the AI we talk about? If you say even in BSNL, if you go to bsnl.co.in, we have launched what we are the native AI or what they call vani.ai. So any questions you want, you can just speak to this vani, it will reply you back. This is the customer centric data. That's one of the things today we use. Next is uh, we are using it mostly for churning of data. Can I use 5G along with churn of data? Today I have 4G networks using it. Can I control churning using AI? But the next step, what we are working out together is really can we move towards what we have, the na AI native transmitters and receivers. Can I go into the native transmitters? So that is going to be a completely different world where we have 
a complete convergence of communication, localization, your security, all coming down together under one umbrella. And also you can see the spectral efficiency of all this increases exponentially with the use of AI. It, it will help in, in improving your uh, efficiency. As far as the networks is concerned, as we are all aware, we are all using what they call the SON networks and the ASON networks. The use of AI has increased and helped us to go one step further. Can I build SSN networks, self-sustaining networks? So without any interference, this is the network becomes self-sustaining on its own. So AI is going to play a major role in each of our architecture, what we are going to do in the long term. We are even talking about how this AI can bring and minimize our structures. So we are talking about reflective intelligent surfaces. So each of your surfaces becomes an antenna. You no longer require a number of antennas what we see that. So if we have 50 users here, and then today we know each one has a one tower which connects us to this uh, from, here, from this all. But can each one of your mobiles, the, the walls here, they can act as in reflective antennas. And then what, what we can say, can say the number of uh, antennas is going to be more than the person. So that the amount of data flows can happen. And all this controlled by AI. Of course, another overarching thing on all this is going to come on quantum, where we can have a complete list of can I have quantum encryption, protection, which is going to be what beyond networks, beyond 5G networks is going to control these small initiatives. This is what is the entire sphere of what is happening in the entire 5G and how we can leverage uh, various other activities. From our BSNL friend, we are proud to say that we have already rolled out sufficient number of on-air 4G networks. On the 5G side, we are rolling out the 5G NAS, Network as a Service, in Delhi, uh, the tender is out and work is in progress to see that how we can fast track it. We are also looking at to see that how we can select some cities and then roll out 5G on these select cities as soon as possible in the next few months. That is going to be a target with government initiatives and the, and the use case application which I mentioned is going to add down together into what we have a completely new sphere for us to work on where I'm very sure more than technology, this technology will help in serving the society. It will help the citizens. As I always used to say, unless this technology helps the citizens and the rural masses, this technology will be of no use. But I'm very pretty sure the convergence happening across the uh, in, in the world, in the, especially the 5G and beyond 5G, it is going to really touch the lives of the people who like to serve. With a few words, thank you for your patient hearing. Thank you.